recipe. So today we're going to be making licorice wands. So I hope you all enjoy the video and let's get started. Licorice wands, you'll need licorice, but I'm not a huge fan of the black licorice. So here I have some multicolored, multi flavored licorice strips. You'll also need chocolate melts. Here I have white chocolate, milk chocolate, and dark chocolate to give you a contrast of colors. You'll also need some Ziploc bags. I prefer to use Ziploc bags with chocolate rather than piping bags just to make sure they don't ooze out at the other end. So this is handy that you can seal it up. You will also need some baking paper or some grease proof paper. You will also need some toppings just to make sure that the ones are really magical and just pop. So here, for specifically those reasons, I have some popping candy. I think this will add a little bit of magic and some sparkle to the ones. You'll also need some star toppings. I think this would be really cute and kind of magical as well. You'll also need some multicolor sprinkles. I think this will add some really cool um, contrast to the chocolate colors that we will have. And lastly, you'll also need some rainbow chocolate chips. I think this will add a bit of dimension to the different types of chocolate that we will have. So, these are the items that you'll be needing to make licorice one. So I've just melted some of the chocolate melts into cups that I have placed in the microwave at 30 second intervals. Just make sure that they're nice and runny so you can dip your licorice ones inside them. And if you feel that they have become a bit stiff, just pop them in the microwave for like 10 seconds at a time because you don't want to burn the chocolate. So all you'll need to do is basically just grease proof a tray just so you can light them down when they're cooling. Um, and setting as well as when you're decorating them so it doesn't get messy. So let's begin. With our licorice wands we're going to be covering the whole wand in chocolate just to make sure that we're able to separately decorate the handle. We will only go probably about three quarters of the way. So just submerge as much of your wand as you can and just use a spoon to gently drizzle some chocolate and cover it a bit as best as you can. Don't worry if it's not even because we can fix this up later once we cover up the handle. And once you've covered in chocolate, just choose a candy topping that you would like to put. So I might go with some chocolate and chocolate. Just use your spoon and just sprinkle some on. You can put as much or as little topping as you would like. Once we've covered the chocolate ones, we're just going to let them set and dry. So you just put them in the fridge if you want, or just leave them out to dry in a couple of minutes. So here I have some just plain chocolate covered licorices. Um, I've just dipped them and just let them dry. I wanted to show you how to pipe some, maybe some leaf patterns, like that of Hermione Granger's wand. To pipe the licorice ones, we'll need your Ziploc bag. So just make sure to roll the bag down to make sure that you don't get chocolate everywhere. So just choose whichever chocolate you want to pipe with. Because most of the ones I've got here are either dark or milk chocolate, I'm going to pipe mainly with white. So like before, just give it a good stir and if you feel like it needs to be put in the microwave, just do so. So I'm only going to take a little bit at a time because there's not a lot to pipe. But, um, So this is why the Ziploc bag is handy, so you can just seal it off once you've filled it and um, it doesn't sort of run everywhere. So make sure that you get as much air out as possible because you don't want that in your piping once you started. And just give it a couple of twists. And because this milk chocolate is quite runny, make sure that you cut a new... Okay, so I'm just going to start slowly piping in a twirl around, just gently, slowly turning, and slowly also moving it down. 
doesn't seem good. The pan cake doesn't go perfectly. And just easily just wipe it off. We can always put the leaves on there afterwards, so don't stress too much. That's a 12 now. So now just add your little leaves. You do not have to think of this. You want to just push down and pull. Push down. So once you have decorated and allowed your licorice ones to cool, we'll now need to cover the base of the one or the handle. So what you'll need here is just to warm up your chocolate if it has gotten harder. Make sure you give it a good stir. So um, I've chosen both of two darker oh, contrasting colours just to make sure that you can see the handles a bit separately. So give it a nice stir. And basically all you need to do is take your licorice one and just dip it until you sort of reach just where you started the new design. So if you go a little bit above that's okay, just so you make sure that you can't see any colours. It'll be a nice little surprise when someone bites into it. So just on that, just sort of drizzle off. A couple of coats are probably better. Once you've covered your licorice ones and they're now dry and you can pick it up, you've noticed that there is a bit of excess chocolate that's just sort of lining the ones. So we want to trim that off, so make sure you have a sharp knife and just gently shape the chocolate so even like how one's base might look. So don't go too deep because you don't want to reach the actual licorice inside, so just give it a light trimming. Try and mould it as best as you can in sort of that cylinder sort of shape. Get the faces on. And we have it. That's how it looks. So just do that to all of your wands. So once you've cut the excess chocolate off the base of your wand, just use the chocolate typing bag that you had before. Just type on some details. So I'm just going to line up base of the one, give it a bit more detail and definition. So chocolate is a bit tricky to work with, just take your time. So just want to sort of hold it to make sure that it doesn't get flat. Well there you have it, a Harry Potter inspired licorice ones. Now remember, the one chooses the wizard. <laughs>